like to show you what the Orpheus people have to say about why they chose to work in this way, without a conductor. See what you think about it. <laughs> If the concert doesn't work well, there's always a conductor to blame. They do. They do. Okay. Are there uh, lead players that set the tempo? Uh, well, there's an interesting process of consensus building during rehearsals, and then they know what the tempo is, and of course, somebody will be technically giving that just the beginning. Okay, uh, listen to some more of what they have to say. Uh, let's see here. We are eight conductors. When you have a conductor, people abdicate a huge portion of responsibility to him because I love it to laugh. To stop it in the socket. Right, but we're all collectively doing the job of the music director. And we're all listening to everything in the whole. You know, when you have an orchestra with the conductor, it's always the speech. Also, the conductor is great or an idiot. In Orpheus, the energy is there, but the speech is there and it starts to go. So, convinced? Uh, not, not really. Not really, why? Because it may be true for a very small ensemble. Ah, okay. Then you have a huge, you're just not going to hear what's going on at the other end of the community. So, I mean, it's like a kibbutz. When you have a new kibbutz of 20, uh, 30 people, you can have discussion there. Now, when you have the third or fourth or fifth generation, uh, the kibbutz, Givat Brenner, has some uh, 1,200 uh, members. So, you cannot do it. You simply cannot do it. The, col the, the, collect the collectivity doesn't work anymore. Okay, sorry. More than that, um, and we know that in every group, group all the members are equal. You get uh, immediately uh, leadership. It might be non-formal uh, non leadership, but I'm sure in this group of players, you have players that are more of leaders. Look, look at this. Look, look at this, just the beginning of this. The myth of not having a conductor is it's often misunderstood. Music always has to have leaders. And in our process, it's a group called the core. So, they have a rotation. We don't have time to go into that, but it, it's quite interesting. They have a, a rotational system in which you like Haydn, you like Beethoven, so whenever we have a, a Haydn piece, you'll be in the core, preparing the first draft for interpretation for the whole group to discuss. So, but you're, uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, there, there's one Ludnik. How do you say Ludnik in English? Yeah. You don't. Yeah. Uh, Ludnik. Yeah. Somebody who always has something to say and always on top of uh, every, everybody else. And uh, I'm sure some of them would love to, to uh, if they could. But he's a big guy, so they have. To, well, it's it's just life. That's what. That's how it is. But they have a system. Of, of building consensus, of working on that. Obviously, it takes so much time to, to, to you know, if I'm not conductor, I can just tell you, pa 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 pa, pa 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 pa, rather than starting to discuss and vote and all that. So it seems like, uh, but um, what are the advantages? Has anybody heard uh, ever the word of uh, uh, like uh, burnout in the context of uh, workplaces? Have you heard about it? I guess, phenomenon. 
Uh, well, yeah, that's something that yeah, uh, you, you would think that in, in music, doing music, people do what they want, so there's no burnout, right? It's the opposite. Well, if you look at the symphony orchestra, it's very rare to find a, a, a player that after 5 or 10 or 12 years does not hate music in a very <laughs> active way, including uh, involuntary rent and whatever. whatever. Um, uh, true, it's true. So what do you do? What do you do? I mean, if, you, if you're in Germany, you're very lucky. You, are, you play in the Berlin Philharmonica, and when you're fed up, you say goodbye. I'm going to be a professor at the Hochschule uh, in Heidelberg, and everybody's very happy. But if you happen to live in Israel, so ma many you know, uh, musicians, great musicians, talented, uh, uh, but, but you have nowhere to go. So you're in the Philharmonic, and you're stuck there. And you don't want to go anywhere because there's nowhere to go. All the positions in the academy are, are, are taken, and there's no, uh, no other great international orchestras to play with. So most of them just stay there. And that, just look at the video of the Israel Philharmonic, which is a very good orchestra, but look at the faces of the players. They're all depressed. Uh, I, I, it's, it's a terrible truth. What do you do? You change the culture. You play depressing music. What? You play depressing music. You play depressing music. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and you get wonderful, wonderful performances of depressed music. And wh who do you sell it to? Depressed, depressed people. people. Yes. Good idea. Good idea. Maybe you should talk to the Philharmonic. Now, what, uh, 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 what I, w I would like to do now is really explore uh, the possible uh, um, 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 uh, cultures, actually. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the range of um, conducting uh, styles which in turn create around them a certain culture and, and let you be the, 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 the jury. You're going to be uh, the jury deciding, first of all for yourselves, how do I want to conduct? What is this, my conducting style? What is the way I, I, I would like, and, or maybe what is the way I actually conduct? Maybe I don't like it and I would like to do it in a different way. So that's a, an opportunity to think about that. Um, also, Please think about, uh, um, but seriously, think about what culture would, would get the best out of you <coughs> as a player. Yeah? We might have those uh, uh, fantastic uh, thoughts about a very liberal, open, da 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 da, but actually, my best work is done when I have a, a boss that, uh, you know, makes me uh, uh, do it. So, you know, it's for you to think about. Um, Let's try uh, to explore some of those possible cultures. Um, our first um, visiting orchestra will be the La Scala Orchestra from Italy. Uh, and the conductor is Riccardo Muti. <laughs> Okay, let's stop here. Opinions. 
How many of you conduct like a Muti? How many Mutis are in the room? How many of you would like to conduct like a Muti? After, uh, this, after this session? Well, I know. I, I, I haven't said anything yet. I sometimes. You sometimes do? Sometimes. Not always. It's a style I do employ sometimes. Why? Um, because there are occasions when authority is good for it. There's a time sensitivity or a lot of opinion that needs to get cut. So you say this, this, this is, this is an ingredient of what? <laughs> yeah. This is what? This is what? <laughs> well, let's agree. Is he is is he is he powerful? Dictatorial. Is he powerful? You don't think so, but more I tend to think he is powerful. Well, uh, I mean, would you like to uh, to uh, uh, confront this guy? I mean, is it somebody who would you know? Uh, no, no, not in a uh, dark night in the back streets of Napoli. Uh, you wouldn't. I used to do some youth leadership with like a bunch of, uh -huh. kids, sort of 13, 14 year olds. And you've got 30 of them together and you're trying to get them to do. We can, we can visualize right. this. So, so you, you can't do everything by stroking and consensus. First, you need to have some quiet yeah. to start with. By the way, I have to tell you, I, I, I have uh, never worked very closely with uh, Muti. Uh, so that's why when he came here last year to work with the Israel Philharmonic for the first time, I went to see the first rehearsal. And he. Mm -hmm obviously performed a miracle in the first 10 minutes of the, of the rehearsal. The level of the playing was just uh, raised in a, in a, in a, you know how? Again, the Israel Philharmonic is a wonderful orchestra, but it's an Israeli orchestra, which means they play at rehearsals, but they also do other things. Yeah. Multitasking is something they do. Yes. 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 Like, oh, why just play? Come on, we have our, you know, uh, we have uh, something to write, we have uh, some, <laughs> And they do it all together. It's quite okay most of the time. Uh, even with Zubi, they do it. Most, most of the time, you know, music, music director is right. But somehow, you know, it's a long marriage. So when Muti came, they knew who Muti was. So they were all sitting there with angelic faces like, we're here to play, we don't want anything else. And he, when he raised his hand for the first uh, downbeat, you know, to start the first piece, Something happened. One of the uh, uh, violin players, just w w wishing to, 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 to have a better uh, you know, angle or something, moved the chair and the chair uh, scratched, squeaked. Yeah. So Muti did not uh, shout or anything, he just he simply uh, lowered it, uh, his hand and he looked at the score and then he looked at them and said, I don't have a scratch of a chair in my score. And that was it. That was it. You could hear a dead fly. <laughs> they were all so quiet. Now, once these wonderful musicians are able to hear themselves in a way they never did before in um, uh, rehearsal, they play better. And, and of course, this works like a, you know, they, they want to play better, they're uh, engaged by the different sound that they hear. And th 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 this was a miracle. But uh, uh, this was obviously a very needed first stage. But do, you, do you stop there? there? What? They need a conductor out there. Uh, to, uh, you could actually uh, close the window. Is it sustainable back there? Yeah. What? Is it sustainable back there? Well, 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 well. T uh, tell me what you think. From Kyoto, and yeah. so someone like that, who's a real authority figure, um, allows you to take that chaos that you were describing about the Israeli Frontal Lamanic or any uh, staff of people and get them to focus on there's one. There's something very interesting about chaos. I mean, obviously, when you work with Moti, it's going to be very organized. Did you see that? He's, all what he does is about preventing you from making a mistake. Mm. Yeah? Uh, like, in, in a way that's uh, did you see the way he stopped the orchestra? Let me let me demonstrate. You'll be my orchestra. Please sing the first note of Don Giovanni. Sing oh, and I'll stop you. Okay, ready? No, are you ready? Switch the bass. Okay, three and oh. Good. Now, if you don't stop with me, this is Muti. So don't mess. Uh, but, uh, but, but I stopped you with one finger. Uh, I think if, if you were sitting in Moody's orchestra, you would have stopped because what Moody does is something a bit different. No, he did. 
Like this, like this. You wouldn't, you know, dare to be there one split second after he finished. So, in a way, it works. There are no mistakes. But you know, jazz musicians often say, "I had a wonderful, wonderful performance tonight because I've made all the right mistakes." Meaning, first of all, that there are wrong mistakes. Definitely, you can do something wrong which will ruin the, the whole thing. But what is a right mistake? When you learn from them. You, you, I, I, I don't know who said this. Maybe nobody did, and it's sort of a generic uh, phrase, but I read it somewhere, and I liked it. So, uh, it went like this. Uh, without order, nothing can exist. Without chaos, nothing can grow. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah? If you don't have this little bit of um, entropy, I don't know, say, uh, a little entropy. 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 Yeah. Good. It's like in Hebrew. Yeah. But some, some mistakes are useful, right? Yeah, absolutely. You, if you don't have this useful way of evolution, well, how does evolution? Nylon was a mistake, and so was uh, uh, some forms of soap. Uh, I'm thinking of the soap that floats. Which kind is that? So, Ivory so soap was invention a by mistake. Was a mistake. Absolutely. This will not happen with a muti. Because you're so afraid to make a mistake that if you're not absolutely sure, you'll prefer to, not to play, actually. Just you know, put your bow in the air and make yourself... Yeah, make believe that you're... Uh, okay, now, Muti here conducts the La Scala Orchestra. La Scala is one of the most distinguished opera houses in the world. Two years ago, all 700 employees, I mean, not employees, musicians working in La Scala, all signed a petition saying, we demand your resignation, maestro, today. And why? It was a very funny letter they wrote, Funny, not for him. I mean, uh, strange. They wrote, we know you are a great conductor. If we follow what you, 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 you ask us to do exactly, it's always a very good performance. But first of all, we believe that if you were treating us as your partners, musicians, not just as instruments, but as musicians, the result would have been even better. And the second thing, we cannot develop. Because of that, we cannot develop as artists. And we pay individually a, a, a very uh, dear price for this. And also, the organization does not reach its full potential. And he, he did resign. Absolutely a unique case. Doesn't happen. But he did resign because of that. Now, Muti is asked, why do you conduct like this? You know the price. He says, I have no other uh, 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 alternative. It's because I am responsible. My responsibility obliges me to control everything. As you saw, he's a micromanager. He, he actually, you know, he, he, he's a control freak. And he said, how do you expect me to be responsible for something I cannot control? Does he have children? Well, <laughs> he has a very beautiful uh, uh, daughter who is, a, who is a, uh, an actress. Uh, very well behaved. What? Oh, no. But actually, actually, the more frightened oh, figure in the family is his wife. Thing, you know, oh. But we're not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, Muti, Muti, Muti is a very nice person. I mean, he is a very a truly nice person. And, and, and uh, 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 sometimes, you know, uh, my heart goes out uh, to him because, uh, for example, um, uh, Asked by a TV interviewer uh, who starts the question something like, you look so majestic, maestro, on your throne. He stops him and says, you call this podium a throne? I call it an island of solitude. I think that's how he looks. He looks like he's completely yeah. alone. He's he alone. He looks like he didn't breathe. You know? Absolutely. Know. Yeah, he looks a bit uh, like, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Say one, one more sentence about his wife. About his wife? I'm very curious now. Uh, well, the only she, that she was uh, 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 an opera singer who stopped her career in order to be his manager. She manages him. Oh. 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 Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I know. <laughs> but but uh, he's, a, he's a truly nice guy. I mean, uh, only uh, uh, his, his uh, view of, of his responsibilities make him... Uh, now, maybe the, uh, then the clue is how can you be responsible for something you don't control? And for that, I would like to go back to the first conductor we've seen together, which is Kleiber, Klaus Kleiber. Now look at this guy, Kleiber, for two minutes, and see what you think. Now this is still Muti. Now the opposite, oh, this is Kleiber.
about this guy that uh, more expressive passion. more expressive okay passion. passion he's about the music he's about the music he's about the he's living <coughs> the music I mean, okay okay uh, personific uh, personification of the music actually he's having a good time yeah. he's what? having a good time absolutely he had a horrible time absolutely yeah. having a good time <laughs> he's thinking about his wife now. <laughs> <laughs> he's on, on a good time i think it looks like there's an intense uh, love affair going on between the conductor and the orchestra, and perhaps also the audience. Uh -huh. but, but why, why, why this love? I don't know. It looks like a big celebration. Yeah. It looks like a, a feast, uh, uh, <coughs> great synergy. OK. Oh, what are the He's a rock star. It? What? He's a rock star. Rock star? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. The reason of a rock star. Going, what? Like the music is flowing through him rather than with Muti. He's controlling, and the music is coming from him. First of all, yeah, through him rather than from him. Thank you. It's, it's a very interesting uh, way of, of putting it. Uh, first of all, the flow. There's a flow of music. Yeah. There's no with Muti because you have to control each and every moment. You have to cut the process into okay. Now this is happening. This is happening. Now something here. And, and, and you know the way to look at it. I mean, I, they're dancing together, aren't they? When yeah. and when you dance with something, I think that's something you mentioned, if I may say, the trust. We've been people dancing together. <laughs> I don't know to dance, but uh, can you dance? I mean, tango or something like this? You know how to? So I'm always impressed by the, uh, the, 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 the enormous uh, um, um, uh, more trust more between, first of all, because it's very, it's very intimate. Uh, and second of all, because even uh, physically, you know, you're dancing with somebody, you throw your partner into an elaborate uh, pirouette in the air, well, she expects you or trusts you to be there when she lands back, yeah? If you, you understand what, I, what I'm saying? If you, if you want to be there, she, she probably uh, won't dance with you again when she gets out of it. <laughs> yeah. He's also uh, very present. Very what? He's very present. Like, I guess that's what you mean by the music flowing through you. He's present and enjoying he's, he's very the present. Music. Like he's sort of in the middle of it versus versus I feel that Muthi keeps worrying that something bad's going to happen. Right. He's not in, in living in the moment. He's okay. not present. Yeah. So how, how can... How can yeah. Yeah, and, and, and there is humor. There is something impatient here. You know, he, he's, he's present. He's, he's in the personal, whereas the other guy is in the yeah. impersonal state. Uh, and that makes, you know... Absolutely. Uh, right. The other, guy, uh, the other guy, Muthi, is somehow a, a representative of a higher law or order, right, comes to him directly from Mozart or whoever is up there, and then, you know, he doesn't have any uh, spiel, how do you say spiel? Uh, uh, any uh, yeah, uh, space to maneuver. And of course, uh, his player, consequently, don't have any space. But this guy somehow uh, creates the space, because it's not about getting something, but actually creating it here. I, I, I thank you, yes, I think that's a very good... Uh, I yeah. notice his, his motion uh, alternates between very subtle. Do you want me to hold? Very, no, no. <laughs> very subtle moments to very dynamic moments, right? Very subtle to very. Where so the, the other, where Moody is very, di yeah. very Moody dynamic. Moody always from here. So there's a great range of behavior. Now, uh, how can he uh, um, allow himself to uh, uh, abandon this position where you have to tell everybody what to do, which is what Moody does. Muti is very much needed because he tells them what to do. How can uh, 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 Kleiber allow himself to do other things? For example, to be immersed in the music, to dance to the music. Uh, where at, some, at times you don't know where he's leading or he's being led by the music. But you wanted to say something? Yeah, I wanted to say that he's usually uh, also the audience. Again, the conducting He conducts the audience. Yeah, he gives them a Absolutely. Them Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but absolutely. They understand the conductor. Absolutely. They, they, they understand the music through watching the conductor, which you can, cannot do with, uh, with the Muti. Yes, please. I also get that the main distinction that I noticed is with Muti, he's throwing all the energy and attention towards himself, where the, where the other guys kind of pass it, he's, he's diverting attention back to, to, the, to the orchestra. 
Interesting. Interesting. So he could, th 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 therefore, he could be the link between the audience and the orchestra in the first uh, um, uh, session we've seen. But you know what? Uh, 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 what, what, what interests me is how does can, can this work actually? Uh, uh, with multi, it's very simple. You play in an orchestra. Uh, you know your part. Everything is very uh, orderly. But then you need uh, to get a, a specific reference from the conductor. What do you do? You stop looking at your music, you look up to the conductor, and you get a very uh, clear sign what to do. With Kleiber, you look up to see the conductor, what are the chances you'll see this guy? He's conducting here, conducting there, like that. So, and, and still they play together. What makes them uh, uh, able to play together? The flow. The responsibility, the flow. The flow. If you have something flowing, you can somehow extrapolate, maybe? Or, now, the f <coughs> listen, uh, I, I, I had this participant once who said, if I, if I play with a muti, it, it's, it's as if uh, I was you know, um, doing something very bad and it was t taken to custody. <laughs> so now my space is very limited. What I have to do is obey orders. I cannot uh, influence what we do or whatever. That's muti. With Kleiber, he said, it's like a day in Disney World. <laughs> this guy took me to Disney World. It's yeah. all about having fun. Da -da. Now he puts me on this roller coaster. Have you been to uh, one of those space mount uh, things? Yeah. So he says, you're up in this roller coaster. The feeling is fantastic. A lot of adre adrenaline uh, uh, flow. Yeah. Um, but then he says, hmm, when you're sitting there in this uh, uh, moving car, do you have any more space to maneuver? The you know, compared to you know, being in custody, can you? You cannot even fall. Even if you unstrap yourself. You cannot even fall. Why can't you fall? Centripetal force. Of course. The flow itself, the movement itself, creates the forces that keep you in place. You see the process. What, what Kleiber does is to create such strong processes within the organization that you, not, you don't need any discipline. It's not needed anymore. Because, uh, now, re please remember, the roller coaster is not actually there. It's only in the mind of the players. Now, well, Zubin Mehta said, my players don't have to see the light at the end of the tunnel because it's enough that I see it. With, with Kleiber, they have to know each and every small <coughs> curve in a yeah, or possible curve in, 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 in there. And, 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 and to do that, they have to take enormous uh, amount of responsibility on them. Yeah? Did he conduct the Israeli orchestra? Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, no, no. He conducted very little, actually. It, it's a, I'll tell you a little bit of gossip play, later, yeah? about, about, maybe about, about this guy. Right. By the way, he's considered to be, uh, the, by many, the best conductor in the world. And if you ask Muti who's the best conductor in the world, he would say, Kleiber. No. He, he said, yeah, he does say Kleiber. <coughs> now, that's amazing, because he knows that Kleiber, not only that he does not you know, uh, uh, lower the standards of precision and all that, it's even higher. Think about it. Think about uh, if you control somebody, you take somebody and make them do this and that and that, or you just create a process and you control the process, and then everything happens by itself, so to speak. Of course, you have to put a lot of energy into the process. Did you see the way where, where I stop this? <laughs> he is doing this because it would be very strange if you came to this roller coaster thing and you would get into the car and, 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 the, and the guy in charge of the roller coaster would come to you and say, guys, I'm so glad you came. Now, please get organized to push this thing all the way in the car, all the way, the, and from there it goes by itself, and it's great fun. You see, you, you, you would say, look, I paid a ticket, yeah, a, a, a costly ticket to get into here because I believe that you will infuse me with enough energy to start the process. This is what managers have to do. I mean, you cannot, you cannot just expect people to, I think, still, the, the infuse with energy, with commitment. All this is there. But once this, this is going, he can do other things no less important. Um.